Remember when character animation and face swapping required expensive proprietary software and Hollywood-level budgets? Well, those days just ended. Meet Juan Animate, the open-source model that's about to make closed-source video AI companies very, very nervous. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! This isn't just another face swap tool. Juan Animate can take any character, whether it's a 3D render, cartoon, or photograph, and perfectly animate them using a performer's movements, expressions, and even match the lighting of any scene. We're talking state-of-the-art results that rival the best commercial tools, except this one's completely free and runs right on your own computer. In the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how to set up Wan Animate in Comfy UI. If this sounds as exciting to you as it does to me, smash that like button right now and subscribe for more Comfy UI tutorials. Now let's get started. First things first, let's make sure you have everything updated properly. If you already have the WAN Video Wrapper and KJ Nodes custom nodes installed, you'll need to update them to the latest versions. Don't worry, this process is straightforward. Navigate to your main Comfy UI folder, then open the Custom Nodes folder. Here's what you need to do. Open the WAN Video Wrapper custom node folder, click in the address bar, and type CMD to open the command prompt. To update to the latest version of the custom node, simply type git pull and press enter. That's it for this one. Now we'll do the same thing for KJ nodes. Open that folder, type cmd in the address bar, and then run the same git pull command. Alternatively, if you prefer using the Comfy UI Manager, you can search for each custom node. If it's already installed, you'll see an option to try to update. Click that instead. If you don't have these nodes installed yet, you can install them directly from the manager and you'll automatically get the latest versions without needing to update. After completing either the updating or installation process, you must restart ComfyUI completely for the changes to take effect. Now that we've covered the setup, let's move on to loading the actual workflow. Once the WAN Video Wrapper custom node is properly installed, you can access its folder and look for a subfolder called Example Workflows. This is where you'll find all the available workflows. Inside this folder, you'll see various WAN 2.1 and WAN 2.2 workflows. Organize these files by their modified date, and you'll notice that the latest workflow JSON file is specifically named WAN Animate. To load this workflow into Comfy UI, simply drag and drop it onto the Comfy UI user interface. It's that simple. If you encounter any missing custom node errors when loading the workflow, this typically means either the WAN Video Wrapper or KJ nodes aren't updated to their latest versions. Go back and double check your updates if this happens. If you're completely new to Comfy UI, I highly recommend watching my previous tutorials on YouTube first. You can also visit pixelailabs.com where we offer a comprehensive beginners course covering all the basics. We also have an updated and more advanced course that focuses specifically on creating your first AI digital influencer using Flux and WAN video models. Plus, you'll get access to our private Discord community filled with amazing members who actively help each other solve problems. Don't miss out on this opportunity to get all my exclusive content. Now, let's explore how this workflow actually operates. As you can see here, we start with two input nodes, one for width and one for height. The default resolution is set to 832 by 480 pixels, but if you want the absolute best quality output, you can increase this to 1,248 by 720 pixels. Keep in mind that higher resolutions will require more processing time and GPU memory. These dimension values are automatically sent to a load video node. This means when you load your reference video, it will be automatically resized to match the dimensions we just set. Here's something crucial for beginners. When loading your video clip, make sure to keep it short, ideally between 5 to 8 seconds. Longer clips will take significantly more time to process and may cause memory issues. Now, run the workflow and pay close attention. You'll want to interrupt the process when you see the first frame from your input video loaded in the points editor. This is where you'll need to place the positive dots, which are the green ones, directly on the subject you want to replace in the video. To create new dots, hold shift and right click with your mouse. Let me now add a mask preview node here so we can visualize what's happening. 
As you can see, the segmentation process has successfully masked our character while preserving the background completely. Next, you'll need to add a reference image. This is the image containing the character or object you want to replace in your video. For this example, I generated this image using Google's Image and Model, but you can also use Quen, the open source model I explained in my previous video. After adding the reference image, a series of resize and cropping custom nodes will automatically create a zoomed in version focused on the character's face. Moving on to the models section, let's talk about what you actually need to download. Wan Animate is built on the foundation of Wan 2.2, but here's the key difference. We're not using the traditional high and low noise technique. Instead, we only need to load one main model file, which simplifies the entire process. You can find all the download links in the description below this video. For this tutorial, I'm using the FP8 scaled version, which offers the best balance of quality and performance. However, if you have a GPU with lower VRAM, don't worry. You can use the GGUF quantized models instead, which are specifically designed for systems with limited memory. In addition to the main model, you'll also need to download the One Animate Relight and Light X 2V Loris. These are essential for the lighting and animation effects. You'll also need the VAE file, specifically the WAN 2.1 VAE, and the Clip Vision H model for text processing. Next, we need to configure the number of frames to generate. This should match exactly with your input clip's frame count. If you have a longer video that exceeds the recommended length, you'll need to either split it into smaller clips or use the WAN Video Context options for extended sequences. For the positive prompt, this is where you describe your new character that will replace the original subject in the video. Be specific about the character's appearance, and don't forget to describe the movements and emotions you want to see. The more detailed your description, the better the results will be. When you've set all the parameters and you're ready to generate your video, hit the Run button at the top of the interface. Here's what happens behind the scenes. First, the Clip Text Encoder model processes your text prompt and converts it into a format the AI can understand. Then, the WAN Video Animate Embeds node processes all the inputs we configured earlier. This includes your reference image, background images, face images, pose images using the Open Pose preprocessor, the number of frames, and several other parameters. All these elements are combined and sent to the WAN Video Sampler to generate your final video. By using the Lightning LoRa, we can generate the video with only six sampling steps, which dramatically speeds up the generation process. In my case, I generated a four-second video in just two and a half minutes, which is incredibly fast for this level of quality. Notice how the output video in this workflow combines all the reference images used during generation. However, you can add a video combined custom node to save the final output video separately if you prefer a cleaner result. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! No! Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! No! This model is truly amazing and has countless practical applications. Just yesterday, I experimented by replacing Neo from The Matrix with Elsa from Frozen in that famous bullet time scene. Even though this was done quickly as a test, the results were absolutely stunning and demonstrate the incredible potential of this technology. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more advanced AI tutorials like this one. You can also directly support the channel by enrolling in one of our detailed courses, where we dive even deeper into these cutting-edge technologies. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.